الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد. In this video we are going to talk about how to successfully complete a lesson. How to go over a lesson and know that you have definitely completed this lesson. There are three main things that we need to focus on uh, to be able to successfully complete a lesson. And in between these three things, they are other things. Tayyib, so the first three things, the first one is you need to obviously listen to the lesson. Whether it's the vocabulary lesson, whether it's the, the essential lessons, uh, or, you know, as we call it in Arabic, al-Durus al-Muhimma, you need to listen to those. You need to listen to those as if you were in a real class. Okay, don't listen to it laying down on the bed, uh, you know, before going to sleep. No, actually, get up, take a shower, take your, be your best clothes, uh, sit in front of, of your, your desk, and always, I advise you to always have a specific place where you only study there. So your brain gets used to that. I know your brain knows that when you go there, it's only for studies. Half adab al-mufrad. Half, you know, like behave well for yourself and respect the knowledge that you are getting in order for Allah to, to, to give it to you, make it easy uh, for you. So sit down in front of the desk, listen to the class as if you were listening to me live. And... Uh, and listen to the class. Now, in between, you know, listening to the class, everyone is different. Everyone learns different and everyone uh, prefers different things when learning. Uh, me, personally, I like to take notes, just things that the, that the teacher is saying. I just, I just uh, write down things or I might, a question might pop up while I'm listening to something. Or sometimes as well, I might say something while I'm speaking, while I'm teaching the lesson. That it's not going. That you're not gonna find in the Kitab al-Tabi. That you're not gonna find in um, in the essential lessons. Is is I'm only gonna mention it, and it might not be important for me. It might not be a benefit for me, but for you, it might be a benefit. So you might want to write those down to later on write it down on the mulahavat section of your Kitab al-Tabi, on the notes section of the Kitab al-Tabi. All right. So everyone is different. You might want to take notes, you, want, you might want to keep rewinding the video. Oh, what did he say this? You might want to follow the, the transcript at the same time. You might want to be reading as you're listening. Everyone is different. Everyone is different. So whether you are listening to the, to the regular lesson, just listen to me, whether you are following the transcript, you can as well perhaps speed up the lesson a little bit this is completely up to you. You need to find what is what is best for you and when you feel what you feel the most comfortable with. But the most important thing is that you listen to you need to listen to the lesson. Listen to the lesson, pay attention and absorb knowledge. Absorb knowledge. Um, preferably during the morning, just as if you were as if you were taking a regular class. You don't want to be laying down, eating, um, you know, while working, yes, you can listen while working to benefit from it, like to, to perhaps like listen before, listen one time before you actually listen to the lesson attentively, just to know like, okay, yeah, remember that, that now he mentioned these and mentioned, that's completely fine. But, uh, but there has to be a moment, a time, at least once where you actually sit down in front of the lesson and listen to it paying attention, taking notes, perhaps rewinding, and whatever it might be. You need to listen to the lesson. Second of all, what we want to do is after you have listened and, and, uh, and pay attention to the lessons, you want to take a moment to absorb all of that knowledge. Go over it, uh, read the notes, okay? Make sure that you have written all the... Um, uh, you know, make sure that you're not missing any meaning. Make sure that you understand everything that was explained. If you have a question, ask, ask what was meant, what did I mean when I explained this? I didn't understand this, I didn't understand that. You need to take a moment to make sure 
you have collected all the information to make sure you have collected all the information and take time to to know if you have understood everything so take a step back absorb it make sure you have collected everything write down all the words in your daftar tabyid all the nouns all the ta'birat all the expressions all the verbs write them down i highly recommend you to write it down yes go through the struggle of writing every single word every single tasrif every single conjugation with the harakat and everything write them down because at the same time you are developing your fluency while writing as well if you don't do this then you're not going to be working on on writing uh, a lot of students they want to be slick and and download the um, the daftar tabi that is already done so they don't have to write it down but you are only hurting yourself because you're not working on writing so going through the struggle of writing every single tasrif every single conjugation every single noun you are reading at the same time so is is um extra revision that you're doing and it helps to get ready to then go ahead and memorize it now you need to make sure that when you write it down you write down all the harakat perfectly don't write down dhahaba yadhibu because then you're going to memorize it wrong so make sure before you go into the third step which we're going to talk about right now make sure everything is completely perfect on your daftar tabyid before you actually go into the third step then the third step the third step is the most important one is the crucial one the core of this whole process and what is going to determine if you have passed this lesson or not the third step is memorizing the words memorizing the words what do we mean by words many students what they what they do is that they just memorize the mufrad they just memorize the singular they don't memorize the plural that's wrong they just memorize the past tense of the conjugation of the verb they just memorize dhahaba instead of dhahaba yadhabu idha dhahabun or aada yu'idu i'adatun they just memorize aada that's wrong you need to memorize everything single thing whether is ahlun ahali ahluna whether is the singular the the you need to memorize everything all right now when it comes to memorizing you need to make sure that you repeat memorizing is just about repetition it's just about repetition we are creatures of habit our brain is just like a muscle the more you work it it doesn't matter remove of your head because i already see you thinking oh my brain is not developed oh i'm too old oh i've never memorized anything remove all of that it's just like a muscle it's just about working at it so the more you work on your on your muscle the more strength you will gain and obviously going back to what we spoke about the talib al ilm the student of knowledge <coughs> the the student of the arabic language needs to cut as ibn qadama ibn qadama al maqdisi said qat'u al alaiq al shaghila to cut all ties or things that are making you busy the more things you have in your brain the more things you are thinking about as ibn qudam al-maqdisi said mata tawazza'at al-fikratu qasurat an idraka al-haqaiq the more thoughts you the more things you need to think about the less strength you have when memorizing so so that's very important as well your environment what is going on in your life that's what's going to make you able or more capable or less capable to memorize but the key point and the key thing when memorizing is repetition so i need you guys to memorize every single conjugation every single uh noun and its and its plurals every single expression repeat it at least 250 times that's the ideal at least 250 times 
Now there is levels. If you just want to be an average, you know, student uh, and just pass by, yes, repeat it a hundred times. If you want to be a decent student, repeat it 250 times. If you want to be a optimal, high performance, peak performance student, repeat it 500 times uh, to 700 as they do in Mauritania. Okay, so 100, 250, 500. You choose. The, if you, the more you want it, the more you are going to repeat it. And believe me, you are not going, you will never regret repeating it too much. You never, re, that's something, it doesn't happen. You never regret repeating something too much. Because at the end of the day, you need to memorize all the words and to know them as Al-Fatiha. Al-Fatiha. Just the same way you know your name and Al-Fatiha, you need to memorize them that way. Alright? So, um, when it comes to memorizing, what do you need to memorize? You need to memorize singulars, plurals, you need to memorize muradifat, synonyms, you need to memorize muddad, uh, antonyms. So basically, you shouldn't leave anything in your kitab al-tabid that you don't know. You need to get to a point where I ask you, what is the general of ahlun? You tell me, ahlun, ahali, ahluna. And, and the muradif of it is um, usratun. And the jamu of that muradif, of that synonym, is usarun. Alright? And perhaps the opposite, al -antony, the antonym is sadiqun, is friend. And the jamu of that antonym is asdiqa'u. Alright? So you need to have all of this in your mind. The sharper you are spitting out this vocab in a, in a regular sitting, like where you're not using it, where I ask you, okay, what is the tasrif of istama'a? And you tell me istama'a, 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 istama'un, mustami'un, mustama'un. The sharper you are here, the sharper you are going to be later when it comes to using it. Whether you are listening to it, some, someone is going to tell you, أنا 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 الرجل كان مستمعاً. Oh, mustami'an. Oh, mustami'an is mustami'an, 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 mustami'an. Okay, mustami'an is the fa'il. So, okay. You see this process of thinking it out. The more you repeat it, the less you will have to think out. The less you have, this, the less this process will, will take to, for you to realize what that person said. The same thing when reading. You might read something. وَكَانَ الرَّجُلُ مُسْتَمِعًا إِلَىٰ زَوْجَتِي the more you know this, this word, the more you have repeated it, the less this process of trying to understand what you are reading will take. And it will save you time of having to repeat the whole sentence again. Again, uh, or the same way when you're speaking. When you're speaking, uh, it's going to be easy for you to bring the specific tense that you, are that you need to use. And yes, you need to memorize everything. Because how are you going to say, if you're talking about the present tense, and you're talking about dhahaba, uh, to go, many students, they say, ah, naam, naam, ana dhahaba asuk. And they use the past tense when, you, when they are meaning that they are going on the present tense. So they say dhahaba because that's all they memorize. They didn't memorize adhabu, as in I am going. And... And through memorizing all of these vocabulary, all of these conjugations, it makes it, it makes you more, it, it makes you fluent. Uh, the sharper you are in that memorization, the sharper you are in fluency. And it allows you to stop speaking like a, like a caveman. Like instead of saying, ذَهَبَ أَنَا الْمَدْرَسَةَ Me, go, me, school. You will say the habtu ila al madrasa once you understand how to conjugate the verb because you have gone over the essential lessons and you have memorized the whole conjugation of the verb the haba yadhabu idhab the habun the habun madhub and you all of these things will then click all of these different aspects of of memorization will then click and you are going to be able to use it in a more concise and 
uh, correct way. All right, so when it comes to memorizing, you just go ahead and repeat. It's as simple as repeating, as you are going to see on this next clip. Samia yasma'u isma sam'un sami'un masmu'un. 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 Khalilun akhilla'u, sadiqun asdiqa'u, adubun a'da'un. Khalilun akhilla'u, sadiqun asdiqa'u, adubun a'da'un. Khalilun akhilla'u, sadiqun asdiqa'u, adubun a'da'un. خليل أخلاء صديق أصدقاء عدو أعداد أعداء خليل أخلاء صديق أصدقاء عدو أعداء خليل أخلاء صديق أصدقاء عدو أعداء صديق خليل أخلاء صديق أصدقاء عدو أعداء خليل أهلا وسهلا واكم أهلا وسهلا واكم أهلا وسهلا 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 And that is how simple it is. It's about repeating. Regardless of your age, regardless of your maturity, regardless of your previous and background experience in memorizing, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just about, just know that forgetfulness cannot cope with repetition. Forgetfulness cannot cope with repetition. The more you repeat, the less you are going to forget. So, so remember that. Remember that at least 250. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I recommend you. If you want to be on your high performance, if you feel like you... Uh, want to be something great in the future, then go ahead and repeat 500 times. Then go ahead and repeat 500 times. So this is how you um, successfully complete a lesson. Once you have gone over and you have understood everything uh, that was explained in the lesson, then you go ahead and memorize. Obviously, you don't memorize anything unless you don't know it. You're not, you're not gonna start memorizing the habayat habu idhab the habun when you don't even know the meaning, you don't even know that it means to go. No, you memorize what you already know and understood, then you go ahead and memorize it. All right, and this is how you successfully complete a lesson. And I hope this was clear.